Hello Aries, this is your bonus reading as I have promised, five card spread, bonus reading for the energies, the main energies coming in for those born under the zodiac sign of Aries for August 2019, five card spread, the energies coming in for Aries, you may get a different energy altogether, or you may get the same one. Let's see what we got here. Remember, this will not resonate with everyone. Let's see what we got here. Coming in energy. Ah, uh, you feel like someone done something sneaky, possibly. Someone done something underhanded. Maybe you're feeling someone has done this to you with the Seven of Swords and the Upright. For very few of you, you may have done this to somebody. You know, something a little under the radar. But it's the incoming energy, and we'll find out more. The past, you're dealing with the Queen of Cups. This could be uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They are in the upright. Obstacle is maybe um, with the devil in reverse. Is someone needing to become unchained from a situation? Maybe you feel like something is tying you down. Maybe you're trying to break free from something. Current environment in uh, I say early part of August, you got desires. This is a lust card, but it's not. I mean, sometimes it has to do with lust, but it's also going for your main desires. You really want something. You really um, want to put yourself out there and go, go be a go getter in a way. It's a type of fire energy, and you're a fire sign, Aries. It's a good card to have. It's good to have those wants and needs and things that you're going for that you really, really desire. Obstacle, hangman in reverse, or not really an obstacle, the, the, the devil's the obstacle. The hangman in reverse is basically the, um, the outside environment of what is coming towards you. I do believe it's the outside situation. Is someone trying to come out of stagnation, someone um, trying to figure something out, maybe make a decision to actually move and do something. It also could be for some of you that somebody is coming out of the woodwork that was hanging back before. Ooh, we got money coming in. Mm, Ten of Pentacles. Final stability. So you got something good coming in. The only obstacle I can see is that you feel like tied down to something. And some of you may be holding back for some reason. And like I said, it could have to do with past people. But I need to be able to clarify. So what we have here is the past, the obstacle, the current environment, what is going to be going on in early August, going for your desires, wanting desires, having desires. Outside influences or what is coming towards you is the hangman in reverse. It could be that someone is coming towards you that was holding back before, like I said, or um, coming out of stagnation. But I see that Ten of Pentacles, and I love the Ten of Pentacles. That's ultimate financial security sometimes, ultimate stability finally getting what you want and need in life to sustain you. So in the past, we got the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is in the upright. That could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or someone. It could be you taking on this energy. It doesn't have to be, you know, a water sign. You could be emotionally tapping into yourself to where you feel emotionally secure in your life. Um, keeping your emotions under control. Uh, being kinder to people and like some of you will be actually dealing with a water sign But you're feeling like you're chained to a situation a little bit because that is the obstacle So let's find out what the Queen of Cups is about and I shuffle these and I do um, uh, Shuffle the cards prior to turn on the video and just think about your sign because it takes a long time Sometimes to shuffle and I don't think you want to watch it all Maybe you do. I don't know But they got the Queen of Cups in the upright as a past position while you're there for Aries Ah, someone's moving on from Troubled Waters with the Six of Swords in the upright. So the Queen of Cups, Six of Swords, both in the upright in the past. Why are you there for Aries? Prince of Wands in reverse. So I do believe you are going to move on from the troubled situation 
Because that the Prince of Wands is someone who is feeling a little insecure themselves. Maybe their temper is short. Maybe they're tired. Maybe they're not feeling well. Could be that they're noncommittal. It's all kind of things with the Princess of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or like I said, someone just taking on that energy. But I do see you moving on from a troubled situation that you have with somebody or that your emotions are becoming more secure, where at one time they were not. Now... The obstacle is the devil in reverse, trying to break free, trying to not become chained and tied down to something that um, will probably hinder you because the devil sometimes can do that. The devil in reverse while you're there for Aries. Yeah, you're, you're, you're stuck in your head thinking you're not going to get this happily ever after. But I, like I said, I saw that Ten of Pentacles up there, so I don't know about that. Got to get rid of that negative thinking. The devil. Ten of cups. Both in reverse is the obstacle. Why are you there? For Aries. Yeah, and you're afraid you, uh, something's just going to go away every time you offer somebody something and may get dropped. Or you, you may be thinking about dropping something because you're unsure of what you're wanting in some ways. Or... You're having trouble of thinking, how do I get out of this situation? How do I get out from being trapped or chained or not be able to break free from something with the four cups in reverse? So be careful about dropping situations that may be actually lucrative. Now, I see you recovering. I see you recovering. You got desires. You got wants. You got needs. You got lust. That's what it is. Lust in the upright. Why are you there? For Aries as the current environment. Must be nice to get that Ten of Pentacles, let me tell you. But the lovers, ooh, the lovers in reverse. Some of you may be desiring someone, you know, that you had, you know, been on the outs with. I do see you moving on from troubled waters. But it also could be that um, someone desires you also still. But I see it as Aries going for what they're wanting, even though there is some, a little bit of blockage there. And I think it's mostly a mental type energy. But the lust card in the upright, the lovers in reverse, why you there for Aries as the current environment in early August. And things will move steadily forward with the Knight of Disc. The Knight of Disc is um, a slow energy, but it's a stable one. It's one that lasts a long time. And then also for a few of you, you can be working with or dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Maybe they were like a partnership or something with you for some of you. And maybe they desire you. Or like I said, it's stability moving slowly forward for, you know, it's going to be different for all Aries. Um, I do see a lot of Pentacles energy here, especially at the end. Well, mostly at the end, a strong Pentacles energy. And then you got the Knight of Discs, which is a very slow but stable energy. It is moving forward. Now, the outside environment, or what is what is coming towards you, is the hangman in reverse. The hangman in reverse. Why are you there for Aries? Yeah, something's coming towards you that's positive. Your ships are coming in. I'm thinking something's no longer stagnant. Something's no longer being held back for you or from you. What is this trying to do? And you're not going to take any more options that aren't good for you. You're only going to get any of the good things. Or it looks like only the positive things you're going to allow in. I don't see no stagnant situations. And I don't see the seven cups as being a negative situation here. Because it's in reverse. So it's like you're not putting up with or dealing with um, options that are not going to pan out for you. You're going for your ships to come in, the good things to come in, the, the wands energy, the fiery energy to come in. We got a lot of fire, I should have said before, coming in. Now, in the end here, you got the Ten of Pentacles. It is in the upright. So a lot of you will get your overall stability that you're wanting. Some of you will get wealth. Some of you will become even more wealthier. And this starts in August, and I did see you going for that in your past readings, going for situations that were lucrative for you. So, Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Why are you there for Aries? Why are you there? Overcoming failed situations. Try to come over, overcome failed situations. Yep, with a new offer. 
This is contemplating and looking at past situations that didn't work. It's clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. You're getting your overall stability. And from that, you're looking back at how situations didn't work, how um, you can improve yourself, how you got you pulled yourself up out of the rain and stormy weather that's been in your life, and you succeeded. I see an ace of discs coming along. The ace of discs is a new offer, a new stable offer that may bring you wealth. I'm just letting you know, Aries, it's coming in. Your desires are coming in, your wants and needs. The only obstacle I see is that you need to become unchained from something, and maybe you feel in your head you want to get the situation, but you got to turn that thinking around. Because I do see it coming up, that you do get good things in your life. So Ten of Pentacles in the upright, Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Disc, all Pentacles energy. So I guess I wasn't wrong about that. There's a lot of it there. Why are you there for Aries? What is going on? What is going on? Yeah, and you're not going to be battling with people over it either. It's not going to be too hard for you to accomplish this. So I see you actually moving on from troubled waters with maybe another person. Maybe they come to understanding or come to an understanding what you're trying to do, but you yourself are trying to come change from a situation and you may actually drop something to do it with the four cups in reverse, but it's also negative thinking, thinking you won't get your happiness. Something sometimes creeps into your mind that, it's, that that will happen, but it's not true. Go for your desires, go for your wants. Don't let anybody hold you back. Some of you may have a lover situation that may have held you back a little, but I see it clearing up or whatever. Um, I want, I'm not going to say disagreement or whatever hardship will slowly move on from that with the Knight of Discs. And like I said, some of you could be de dealing with a, an earth sign. But I do see you moving forward slowly. The outside environment situations are not going to be stagnant. Your ships will come in and they're not going to be all... Um, they're not going to be nasty offers or offers that you're not, not going to want. They're going to be good things instead of negative offers. And I do see, like I said, the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Overall wealth, overall security, all kind of meanings for this. But it's a final situation where you finally arrive at it. You will be looking at past failures, you know, and, remember, and you will think about how you can make these past failures also work for you. And you're not going to work too hard for it, though, because you got the five of wands in reverse. You won't have to work too hard for this overall stability, even though I see it's a little slower coming. That's going to go past August. And for the rest of the year, you're going to accumulate what you need to accumulate to get overall stability. And I do see a new offer coming in. Some kind of new situation has to do with money with the ace of disc. In the end, we got the full card in the upright. The full card in the upright right is uh, taking a leap of faith not having any doubts any warning with the fool card is to look before you leap you don't want to jump into something that's negative but I don't see you doing that I see this as a new beginning for you something exciting definitely not boring but it's going to be something that um, will bring you happiness in some way I feel it'll bring you into a new world almost. I didn't get the world card, but I get that feeling, the overall feeling. So this is a good reading. You are going to get what you want. You are going to deal, you're going to move on from the troubling situations you had from people, especially in that past reading. It's going to move on from that. But you, your doubts are still a little bit there. But I think as the energy picks up for August, you're going to get more desires and more energy and to go for what you're wanting. You're going to um, bypass whatever. If you had a lover situation, you're going to bypass the negativity in that. It's going to move slowly forward again. And it also, it could have to do with partnerships because lovers can have to do with partnerships, something that you're emotionally attached to. So you're moving slowly on for a more, in a more stable way. I don't see things being held back from you, like I said. And you got your Ten of Pentacles and you got your Fool card in the upright. And that is your reading, and I'm going to let this go, and I will upload it as soon as I can. Bye.